Leo has $4,522.08 in his bank account. He deposits another $875.50 and then withdraws $300 in cash. How much is left in his account? So he's starting with $4,522.08. So let's write that down. $4,522.08. And then he deposits, he deposits or he adds another eight hundred and seventy-five dollars and fifty cents. So he's going to add eight hundred and seventy-five dollars and fifty cents. When you deposit into an account, you're putting something into the account or you're adding to the account. So after he adds that eight hundred and seventy-five dollars and fifty cents, what does he have? So we go back to the penny spot, or we could view that as the hundredths. A penny is one hundredth of a dollar. Eight, let me switch colors. We have eight plus zero is eight. Zero plus five is five. Have the decimal right there. Two plus five is seven. Two plus seven is nine. Five plus eight is 13. Put the three down here and regroup the one, or carry the one. One plus four is five. So after the $875.50 deposit, he has $5,397.58. Then he withdraws. He withdraws $300 in cash, or he takes out $300. So we'll have to subtract that. So then he withdraws $300, $300. And I just added some trailing decimals, at, trailing zeros after the decimal. $300 is the same thing as $300 and zero cents. And then we subtract. And then we can subtract. Eight minus zero is eight. Five minus zero is five. We have our decimal right there. Seven minus zero is seven. Nine minus zero is nine. Three minus three is zero. And then five minus nothing here is five. So he is left with, in his account, $5,097.58.